still got some sort of a missing cylinder. We're trying to diagnose it right now. It's not the same as it was last time. It's a completely different deal. I don't know what the I don't know what to think about it or say. I just it's, it's acting like a lifter's collapsed in this one. That's what I thought last time. So I don't know. I'm just trying to diagnose the problem and so we can race on Sunday. Records and more. Um, and then we're headed to the racetrack. So we got two practices, one 20 minute session first, go out there on pit lane, run, adjust, run, adjust, go in. Then we got qualifying, 20 minute practice session, group qualifying. And we should be good. We'll see where we stack up. I'm not sure what the car count's gonna be. The pre-registered entries, there's not a huge car count. I know that two or three of the hot dogs that are doing well around the Florida area are gonna be there. So that to me is what matters. I mean, it's not the best show for the fans, but it will be up front. Hopefully we can get the car to where we can run up front and give them boys a run but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you could get better, like you said. 
Two practices today. Second practice was qualifying. Uh, we ended up fast time, so it took every damn bit of energy I had, every thought I could think, just to get the key to. We could with this adjustment or with this qualifying, you go down pit road and you can adjust the car. So when we started off, we was I think 21s. By the time we were done, we were 19 eights or whatever we qualified. Um, but it took everything to the very last lap until, until I beat the kid. Uh, with everything I had, but we got her done. So qualified fast time. Now it's on to the race, the important part. So hopefully uh, I can get him in the race. So he did that, and then uh, I went back out, and they said, you're still sucking. I said, fuck. I said, add another half a round sway bar, and then I got him. Well, I wanted to, they, Jerry wanted fast time, he wanted fast time, so. Yeah, I so hopefully them tires are okay. That's three different times I went out on them. Oh, good, good. <laughs> His buddy Lester, he's funny. Tell me what it is. Six. Six, that'll do. That means I start on the outside. I like that. I like that much. It could have been, couldn't have been worse, could it? That's as bad as it could have got. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it could have got worse. Yeah, I don't think
I just, uh, right halfway through the race, we dropped a song, and it was over after that. I couldn't get down the straightaways. Happen. Ooh, I can fucking lift that motor out of there and throw it in the fucking trash. <laughs> Yeah, in the 41 and Jeffrey White had a pretty good battle. He was leading for a while. He was making gas, but uh, they were late season. He got back around. Yeah, so, I mean, the car was hooked up. It was fast. Uh, about halfway through, we dropped the summer, and it was over after that. It was a fun racing with him. I enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. Is there anybody you want to thank tonight? You helped you out? Oh, uh, yeah. I think my car was Jerry and Cindy Lalonde. They uh, uh, put me in this car. I was happy to be here for that. Travis had a good run on the last second place tonight for Walter Brinsky and Brian Tunnel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Whiskey Racer here, and guess what? We are back from Florida. So this is the recap video of the World Series racing the E-Mod. The big question is, would I do it again? The experience overall was great. I I loved getting to know Mr. J, hanging out with him, Kevin, you know, Kevin Crawford. I, I, I like getting to know all these guys down there. Skinny Roth, just, just a group of guys down there that I had not met prior to this was great. That part was great, okay? The division that we were in, the E-Mod, the 602 crate engine, that deal. I, I wouldn't do that again. Absolutely not. No way. Absolutely not. The crate engine in a modified is not saving anybody money. I'm not even going to get into that. I'm done. That's... Nope. Up here... We have no engine rule, except for a few basic. We have to have a cast iron block, one carburetor, no nitrous, none of that bullshit. It's basic. I build the engine I want and I restrict it with the restrictor plate, okay? My engine lasts. It takes the beating my right foot gives it, okay? That, that's 602. Sorry, I was not gonna, was not gonna get onto that. I'm not, I'm not, okay? We did go down there and prove that we were fast. You know, we were fast, but our engine program was lacking. It didn't have anything to do with the setup of the car. It didn't have anything to do with the builder, the any of that. That car was the fastest car down there. And I honestly, if we put a, a real engine in that car, a Burt transmission or a four speed, whatever it be, I think we could run with the Florida mods. Let me tell you this, okay? In that feature, we turned the fastest lap of the race at a 19.6 and I noticed that Stickler, which is the leader of the Florida mods down there, qualified a 19.3. That's 19.6 to 19.3. That's three tenths of a second to gain down the straightaways. I could gain that down the straightaways. 
I I feel like that car is very well capable of running in any you know division you put it in as long as it you know the engine stays together you could run it as a 602 crate if that's what you wanted to do but there's only seven or eight cars in that division and i understand completely 110 percent why i know exactly why there's only eight cars in that division i want to thank travis eddie eddie performance solutions for building that car just like destiny that i the adjustments were the same everything it was a completely different setup but the car still worked the same and it got faster and faster in the feature it's just the eddie setup it is awesome and it works for my driving style perfectly i cannot thank him enough for being behind me and suggesting me to drive the car and just everything that travis does for me is very well appreciated i want to thank everybody up here my dad everybody my wife kids all that 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 you know helped to make this happen uh i really want to thank uh skinny roth down there in florida for just always coming up and asking if we need anything just he knows people down there and just just all around good dude uh got us people you know that new stuff and had knew about these crate engines and had you know extra crate engines to put in the car if we needed to just a good dude very easily accessible and helped us out a lot down there uh like thank jerry and cindy alone that own the car for putting me in it i uh it was an experience that i won't forget um it was fun enjoyable stressful <laughs> but, but like i said if i would i let's just say i i enjoyed it okay i enjoyed it i enjoyed getting to know you guys that was great uh i want to thank kevin crawford for letting us use his shop to work on the car when i got down there that was great we had a place to work on it nice flat piece of concrete I could set the front end up. I could do all the work that I had to do. I appreciate you, man. Uh, so, uh, congratulations to the 41 team for winning the race. You guys, uh, you guys got that car tuned in and, and it's prepared to finish races. So we finished second behind you and we just didn't didn't have it together enough to beat you so congratulations and uh thank you for racing me clean you raced me clean and it was fun racing with you and maybe who knows we get to race together again someday but it was fun and i enjoyed that so thank you all very much for watching my videos i appreciate that and you guys are uh you guys are awesome so thank you all very much see you on the next one